Right, so I'm back working on this El Grand today, the front uh, chin scoop here. This one you can see I've plastic welded. It had a crack down here, crack. Obviously that hit a curb or something when parking. Um, so I filled this one with the plastic weld. Now today I've got the grinder here and I've just grinded, I've grinded along this crack on both sides of the crack so that it slopes inwards. There's a big indent all the way down the crack and that is where the plastic weld is going to sit inside there. Give it a light sand and a grind and it also gives the plastic weld something to grip to. It really needs a rough surface to grip to. Comes down and around and underneath the uh, the trim piece there. Um, so I used my grinder on that. I used some uh, earmuffs of course and of course if you're doing any grinding you need safety glasses because this grinder will throw up dust, particles and splinters. It could throw anything up as it's grinding this plastic piece here. So earmuffs and safety goggles are a must. So I've given that a grind out. It is an indent all the way down that join there where the join is going to be. So I'm now going to plastic weld down there. It may not come out that smooth like this one, but once that's done, I can give it a really good rub down and a smooth uh, before I start coating it and painting it. So let's mix up some plastic weld and we'll get that in there and we'll fill this crack with that and that will glue it, set it in place and it should be pretty strong. Now, this is the plastic weld that I'm using. I think you can buy it at Bunnings or Mitre 10. It comes in a packet. And it's a 50-50 mix. One of them is the, the goo, the other one is the hardener, I think. So a 50-50 mix, just mix it up on a piece of plastic. I'm using a ice cream container lid. Now I had another ice cream container lid. I've cut out a piece of plastic like this. It's very, very flexible. And it can be used like a scraper. See, I can use that just to smooth over the surface of the plastic world or the filler when I'm doing the filling on a piece of bodywork. So just cut out a piece of plastic, nice and flexible and soft, uh, but strong enough to give you a, a bit of pressure down so you can smooth over the area when you fill it with either body filler or the um, plastic world. So I've got that ready to go. I'm going to mix this up here now, do a little 50-50. Don't need very much to fill such a small area. You need a stick to give it a good stir. Make sure you've stirred it in well 100% um, otherwise it's not going to go off or go hard. So let's mix this up, mix this up and uh, get underway here. Don't need too much, that should, that should be enough by the time I put the same amount of white in there. It's not rocket science, just get it so that it looks like it's 50-50 um, and then mix these two together till it becomes a consistent grey colour. You don't want that marble effect, it's got to be consistently grey and fully mixed in. Better to have too little than too much, you can always add a little bit more. There we go, that looks pretty good smells pretty strong right so let's go and put this into that crack that i ground out with the grinder and we'll force it in there and we'll smooth it over a bit with my special doodah here okay let's go let's force it into the gap there Goes right in.
I can't do any more to the front of this fan, that uh, little nose scoop there, uh, until that dries nice and hard. Maybe tomorrow I'll give it another do uh, work. I'll start sanding it and smoothing in it before I spray it. Uh, so hopefully by the end of the week it'll be all smooth and sprayed and it'll look fantastic. Uh, good news on our camping trip. We have five vanners already lined up to come. So that's exciting. Five vanners off the bat. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a good cook up and uh, we're going to enjoy just uh, some decent quality uh, R&R &R time. Okay, rest and relaxation. <laughs> Go for some walks and enjoy the enjoy the scenery by the lake there. We're going to the top 10 holiday park, uh, Blue Lakes Holiday Park. Um, uh, it's not the cheapest place, to be honest, but, um, you know, it's still better than paying over $200 a night. Um, I, I booked in for two nights and it cost me $99. I got a powered site uh, so I can have a nice hot shower. I can... Um, if it gets really cold, I can plug in my fan heater, I can run my laptop, I can do uh, do whatever I want. If I need power, I've got it there. Not much extra for a powered site, so I've got that. Um, like I said, it's not the cheapest place, but, you know, I'm still, at least I'm not spending over $200 a night. So I'm happy. It's a, it's a cheap holiday, uh, a cheap rest and a break away from the big smoke. Uh, so I'm happy. Really look forward to seeing you guys. If there's anyone else here, else out there who would like to join us, um, just make a comment below or contact me on my email, edwardsbwilliam at gmail.com or send me a text and um, or you can contact me through our website, kvmcampervans.com. Oh, you're all welcome to come. If you've got a KVM van, that's great. If you've got a different brand or a different van, that's fine. Just come along and enjoy uh, and enjoy sitting around and uh, like-minded people. Okay, we're just going to have some fun. Um, so it'd be good. More the merrier. I'm hoping this sort of van club builds up a little bit. If we get five or six this time, maybe next time we can work towards ten vans. Um, I'm quite happy with the name. If we do decide to go ahead and have a little club and do me regular meetups. I think Back Road Vanners is quite a nice name. It's sort of quite catchy. Um, so we might run with that. Uh, I've had a couple of apologies from friends with camper vans who can't make it this time. They said they'll come next time. So that is good. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Now I'm still seeing vans advertised on Trade Me. They say it's a new camper van build, but it's only got the blue sticker. They're saying it's certified for years and years. Uh, but guys... <sighs> It annoys me a little bit if people are getting deceived. Um, there are so many dodgy van builders out there, camper van builders. There are dodgy people around and they will sell a van. Uh, say it's certified for four years, da da da. It's got the blue sticker. Um, it's got this and it meets all the new rules. Okay, let's be honest here. If you don't have the new certification WOF with the green sticker and the green card on the window, you are not going to be able to freedom camp wherever you want to all around New Zealand, okay? So walk away. Do not buy a new or second-hand camper van if it doesn't have the new Warrant of Fitness certification with the green sticker and the green card on the window because you'll be very, very restricted about where you can camp or freedom camp. Now, the blue sticker is okay. You can stay in a holiday park, camping grounds, maybe some uh, caravan association sheep paddocks. Um, if you want that, that is fine. Uh, but if you want a freedom camp, if you want to have that real freedom and choice of where to stop around New Zealand, don't buy a van unless it's got the new certification WOF with the green sticker and the green card on the window. And now put this on your Facebook, guys. Put it on your Twitter. Spread it around because it annoys me to see people getting ripped off or um, misled. And um, I don't mind if they buy my vans or someone else's vans. I just don't like seeing people get misled. I've had people come in here saying they bought this van, they paid good money for it, and then they find out they can't freedom camp wherever they want to because it's only got the blue sticker on it. So please spread the news. 
um, put it wherever I can tell all your family tell all your friends we need to get that new certification done all right and we got young people coming in from around the world to tour around New Zealand uh, they come here they buy a doggy old uh, cargo van that's been converted and then they're misled they find out they can't freedom camp wherever they want to go and it's not a good look when people here uh, are misleading them and not being honest uh, so please spread it around I don't like to see people getting cheated or misled all right and uh, like I said there are dodgy van builders out there selling new van builds all certification with the blue sticker um, but they don't tell people that they will be restricted they cannot freedom camp anywhere they want to or around New Zealand okay it's not good it's not a good look when people do that um, but anyway let's put that aside and uh, just just remember that all our vans do have the green sticker the new certification WOF I would not build a van or sell a van now without all the proper certification WOFs okay just wouldn't do it um, but that's the way it is so spread that around and uh, hope you all have a wonderful week and I'm really looking forward to getting away on this camping trip on the 14th and the 15th at uh, at Blue Lakes Holiday Park in Rotorua if you can make it let me know it would be great to see you I've booked in a few of the others have all booked in and it's going to be good I'm going to be videoing it making films taking videos and photos so you'll all hear about it you'll all see it on YouTube very soon keep well keep safe keep coming back and enjoy your camping over and out cheers